Dit is Papal van Nul Eco Tango Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 6 augustus 2016. Dit is het bulletin van zaterdag. As every weekend, this Saturday bulletin will be in English. We have the propagation news and the next episode of the item on magnetic loop antennas. At the end of the bulletin there will be some Morse code words again and NSSTV image in PD50. Today another image that was especially made for this broadcast around 6 o'clock, so just an hour before the daily minutes started. It's my cat again, curiously looking at some components I just bought. Hello, this is Mike Marsh, G1IAR, and welcome to the TX Talk podcast of the GB2RS National News, supplied by the Radio Society of Great Britain and brought to you by TX Factor. Now it's time for the radio propagation report compiled this week by Golf Zero Kilo Yankee Alpha, Golf 3 Yankee Lima Alpha, and Golf 4 Bravo Alpha Oscar on Friday, the 5th of August. This week saw the effects of yet another solar coronal hole which pushed the KP index to 4 and 5 on Wednesday and Thursday. Now we predicted this last week but we were out by just one day. Lackluster sunspot activity also meant that the IOTA contest saw many contestants staying on 20 metres and below with the odd foray up to the higher bands. The solar flux index stayed in the mid-70s as the only sunspot that did appear rapidly dwindled and it was gone by Wednesday. On the bright side, there were no solar flares to report though. Next week, both NOAA and the US Air Force predict the solar flux index should be in the range of about 90 to 95. Now, if they're correct, this means we might actually see a slight uplift in HF conditions. However, continued unsettled geomagnetic conditions might work against us, especially around midweek, when NOAA predicts the K index will hit 4 again. Summertime D-layer absorption and reduced MUFs are also still impacting DX paths. VOA cap predicts UK to New York on 20 meters CW is probably best from between 2000 and 2200 UTC with a 77% chance of success and on 30 meters from 2200 to midnight with a maximum 81% chance and these figures drop by about 30% for SSB. And now the VHF and upwards propagation news. Well, there's a bit of a familiar look to the weather charts for the coming week, to be honest. Largely a story of low pressure to the north moving into Scandinavia later. Now, this means that tropo conditions may be fairly limited initially, but pressure remains high over Biscay and northern France. So paths to the south from southern Britain offer the best of a poor showing. However, models do bring a large high close to the southwest and Ireland later, with perhaps some tropo possibilities. The low pressure to the north means there will be showery periods, especially in the first part of the week, so there's a chance for rain scatter on the gigahertz bands. Hanging on to sporadic E into August is always a little bit problematic, but there are likely to be some strong jet streams around, particularly over the UK and Northern Europe. Now, these may bring good prospects if you can be in the shack at the right time. Check during late morning and tea time. That should capture most of the events. Don't forget the Perseids meteor shower reaches its peak next Thursday and Friday, so meteor scatter conditions will improve through the week. Moon declination is negative and the moon is at apogee on Wednesday, so losses are high and the moon windows are short. And that's your lot from the propagation team for another week. From the headquarters of the American Radio Relay League in Newington, Connecticut, this is ARRL The Doctor Is In, a bi-weekly podcast addressing common and some not-so-common technical issues in amateur radio. Similarly, the, the loop itself, the wire of the loop, has resistance, and uh, that can result in significant loss. So you'll see some loops made out of copper tubing, for example, which has mm-hmm. much less resistance than copper wire. Is that copper tubing without any um, joints whatsoever, or is it continuous piece? I think copper tubing with good pipe fittings and good wet or soldered joints is almost as good as, as solid copper. Mm-hmm. But but any kind of mechanical joints with uh, compression fittings or one kind of thing or another is asking for trouble. It may work fine the first uh, month or week or six months but eventually there'll be corrosion and so forth and then it's really terrible and it's it happens slowly so you don't notice it similarly the other thing about small loops is they have very narrow bandwidth 
This is characteristic of most small antennas of all sorts, and the bandwidth can be so small that you need to really have some kind of tuning mechanism to mm -hmm. tune as you go. As you tune your receiver, you've got to tune the loop along with it because the bandwidth can be, for a small loop, can be 10 kilohertz or, or less. Well, yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're talking in terms of a... Um Two to one SWR bandwidth. What kind of bandwidth are we usually talking about, really? Well, if we're talking about a, something on 80 meters or so, um, typical dipole would have a two to one SWR of 150 bandwidth of 150 kilohertz. Mm -hmm. uh, the loop might have a two to one SWR of 10 kilohertz. So that's quite a difference. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to tune your transceiver very far to be out of range. Oh, no, no. In fact, um, unless you, if you're operating on a single frequency, that's pretty easy. You make it work on that frequency and hope nothing changes and nobody builds a nest in it or something. And um, and you'll probably be okay. By the way, if they build a nest in it, they'll be gone the first time you transmit, probably, <laughs> one way or the other. <laughs> gone or fried. But many, in many cases, the uh, the tuning has to be hap has to happen where the antenna is, so you need to have remote tuning unless the antenna is right with you. Mm -hmm. And that means a motorized variable capacitor or some kind of arrangement. And variable capacitors have some interesting uh, loss portions to them that are not a problem in a typical high impedance circuit. But, for example, there usually is a wiping contact between the uh, frame of the capacitor and the rotating plates. Mm -hmm. And those can get dirt on them because the uh, plate is mostly exposed and oxidizes, and then you turn it, and that oxidation gets between the two contacts, yeah. and you have a problem. Even in old um, tube equipment, there is high impedance. You, you, hear, you hear noise in that environment, and it has to be cleaned. But it's particularly important in a small loop to be efficient to have that resistance zero because if you have a lot of amps, it doesn't take very many ohms to have a big voltage drop and end up with a lot of your power in yes. the resistance. And yes. that's usually the limitation for loops. Interestingly, for a low-frequency receiving loop, it's not so much a problem because the on 80 meters and 160 meters, usually the signal-to-noise ratio is limited by the not what's happening in the receiver, but what's happening in the atmosphere. So if you have losses, they reduce the noise and the signal together. So you still maintain a good signal-to-noise ratio even if there are losses at, on receive. But it doesn't work the other way. So, mm -hmm. so you really, the other person that you're talking to has the same atmospheric noise, but your signal is much lower, so he doesn't hear you so well. <laughs> but you can hear him fine. So it's kind of, uh, can be disconcerting. Okay, Joel, let me ask the critical question here, okay? Real world performance. If I take, if I take one of these small loops, and again, they're only two, three feet in diameter, take it out in my yard, and I have a coaxial switch doing an A-B comparison between that and a dipole antenna on the same band. What am I what am I realistically going to see? I think it very much Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks om 1900 uur te beluisteren op PI2NOS en ochtends om half elf. Aanvullende informatie bij de uitzendingen is te vinden op www.pa0ete.nl. Wil verder gerust je tips, commentaar en desnoods priet praten naar xapenstaartjexdv.me. Ga jij nog naar het tuincentrum komend weekend? Ja, ik wil daar het komend weekend nog naartoe. Zou je voor mij dan een zakje randaarde willen meenemen? Tuurlijk.